think this is such an important cause that symbolizes everything we got to change in this country. We're at the site of a continuous crime scene, going back to plantation slavery, then breeding slaves, then displacing a black community for real estate interests, then desecrating their cemetery. We're talking about this little cemetery here, but people have been around telling me that big apartment building there, back in the 60s, they would find bodies, they'd ring a bell, put those bodies in a ditch and then keep building them. Now how different is it, really, when the people that run this county do this real estate development, displacing the community, desecrating their cemetery, how different are those people from the people that ran that slave plantation in those breeding grounds. We talk about systemic racism. The archaeologists talk about how it's connected to the motivation of money. That's capitalism. Racism embedded in capitalism. And until we get community control of our resources, here we're talking about land. We also talk about the police. You know, the police commit crimes. They brutalize people. And then they try their own people and let them off. They police themselves. That's not right. And the real estate industry run people out because they can buy the assets. And the crime goes on. So what I'm saying is, this is not just about getting a museum to commemorate what happened here so people remember. And learning from that, that's good. But this, these crimes will continue till we change the system. So that the economy is controlled by the people. And the people control their own assets. They are not excluded from the fruit of their labor. That's what slavery was. And now we got wage slavery. You get a fixed wage, the boss gets everything else you produce. It's exploitation in another form. So. I got in by a little rap before I uh, expressed solidarity message from my running mate from last year, Angela Walker, who's down in Florence, South Carolina, couldn't be up here today. But let me read what she wanted to, you all to hear. Celebrating Juneteenth is honoring the lives, work, and struggle of our ancestors as we imagine the future for our people. We look, we look back to move forward in the spirit of Sankofa. May the spirits present for this gathering today bless all who attend with clarity, strength, and joy as they continue their needed work. So Angela's here in spirit, couldn't be here physically. And I guess my basic point, and I didn't come to make a big long speech. I think sometimes you make a point and you, that's what you want people to remember. We need systematic change. Yeah. Systematic racism's not just, you know, there may be some people in the county that got elected or appointed because they were paid to do get in office by the real estate industry. If they dissent from that, the system will put somebody in that will carry through the program. So it's not just about some bad people. We can hold them morally responsible like we can hold those slave owners morally responsible for the racism that's going on now. But it's systematic. And that's why we got to change the system. And as far as I'm concerned, it's some kind of democratic and ecological socialism that is grounded at the grassroots and community control of the land, the real estate, our businesses, our police, and all the things that matter to us in our community. So that's my message of solidarity and keep up the good work. Um, I noticed I used to do a lot of construction work. They're not moving very fast here, but the problem is the people that own it they're on their own timeline. They'll make the money when they can. Uh, so we need system change. That's my message. Thanks. Now with Howie Hawkins, as we all know, 2020 presidential candidate for the Green Thank Party. Thank you, Brother Hawkins. The uh, next person up is uh, Josh Odins.